Hi, everybody. It is June 1, 2019. I can't believe that we are in the sixth month of 2019. It still feels like New Year's Eve was yesterday. I am going to be showing you some information that should scare the hell out of everyone. Unfortunately, most are not scared. They are embracing this technology that is rolling out the tyranny of technology we are already living but this information should really well it should wake everybody up but no it doesn't Amazon's plan to move into your next apartment before you do the tech giant has figured out a way to get millions of its smart speakers into homes without consumers lifting a finger and without consumers knowing. And it will give property managers a way to manage tenants. If you don't live in an apartment complex, you don't know the changes that have already taken place with property managers that are already controlling many aspects of a tenant's life now, I grew up in apartments. It's a whole new world. The rules, the regulations, the constant headache that you have to deal with, the stress that you have to deal with, with these property managers who do not care about your, mm, what was that, uh, the peace and enjoyment, you know, that you get to live, you know, even in apartments, you know, your home was your castle gone, privacy gone, all gone, these rules and regulations that these apartment complexes are adopting are creating a nightmare for an awful lot of people. And the property managers, from the stories that I've heard from other people, the experiences that I've had in the apartment complex that I live in, these property managers are on such a power trip and that in itself causes a nightmare. So, what is this? Yes, Amazon. Now, I thought it was interesting. The first paragraph, they're talking about this little story of an apartment complex in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. So you gotta tie in everything that you're reading or watching, tie it in to Agenda 2030, the reshaping of the world. Agenda 2030, to control every aspect of life. Life itself, but your life and how you live it. So Oklahoma City now getting attacked with weather weapons. Interesting, isn't it? Flooded out areas in Tulsa as well. And Tulsa is also part of the Texas Triangle mega region, Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Flooded out. Well, well, we have to build stack impact apartments, tiny apartments that will be smart apartments that are in smart cities that are in smart regions and all of it will be just this, uh, well, all of it comprises the smart new world order. <sighs> Oklahoma City. So, tenants, they aren't likely to notice anything out of the ordinary for 2019. This was, this was posted just today. Um, there are smart locks on the door with key code entry and contemporary thermostats with LCD touch screens. During their move in briefing, they're told the unit's smart system can be operated from Amazon.com. Please do some research to find out that these tech giants are working with governments to install surveillance 24-7. Privacy, gone. Freedom, gone, and the younger generation will never even understand 
nor get the concept of that. Hmm. Freedom? Privacy? 1984 on steroids. This is what we are living. And most people love it. They love it. And how many times have we heard, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> they have no clue what is happening here. The reshaping of the world. The world goes tyranny via technology. Um, so, yeah, they're not told how hard Amazon worked to get these devices into their new home. Amazon has figured out a way to get millions of homes without consumers ever having to choose its hardware and services in the first place. Amazon Alexa Smart Properties team, a little known part of its Alexa division, is working on partnerships with home builders, property managers, and hoteliers to push millions of Alexa Smart speakers into domicile, domiciles all across the United States. Does that sound good? Does that sound, hmm, like maybe you should think about the implications of this? Yeah. Offering discounted hardware, customized software, new ways for property managers to harvest and use data. And guess what, property managers? You're phasing out your jobs. Because eventually, artificial intelligence will be taking over and they will say, Goodbye. No more work for you. We don't need you anymore. All right. I will link below to everything and you can um, read more of this. But yeah, there's a question of privacy, don't you think? Renters, home buyers, hotel guests, you're all surrendering. More data, you're surrendering everything. You are surrendering everything you do and say in the privacy of your own home, your own apartment, your own hotel room. They listen, they monitor, they watch. Amazon even announced its partnership with Zigo, uh, now a subsidiary, subsidiary, God, I can't talk anymore, of Paylease, one of the largest rent payment services in the U.S. You can pay with your cell phone now, but eventually, in your home, you will be, and by the way, in this new world, no one will own property. So everyone will be a renter, and you'll be able to say, Alexa, pay my rent, and voila, it's done. Yeah, police adopting TSA-style scanners for public use. I have posted many videos, others have posted many videos on 5G, that millimeter wave, which is the military wave, posting not just on the health effects of 5G, but posting on the surveillance capability, high definition surveillance. Everywhere you walk, everywhere you are, Everything you do, everything you are carrying on your person, in your briefcase, in your bag, in your pocketbook. These 5G antennas, the cell antennas, will be able to pick up in real time everything you are carrying. So, yeah. Uh, that, that No, they're not rolling out 5G. The military didn't say, you know what, we should give a gift to just these citizens, to the non-military personnel out there. Well, they're not personnel, but to non-military people. We should give them 5G because they'll be able to download faster, which you won't be able to, but you'll be able to download faster. Yes, it's our gift to ordinary people because we love them. Oh, we kill a lot of you, but we love you. Now, this is for 
the, uh, the new world order. And they will be watching and listening to everything that you say in your home. And then when you go out into the public, you will be unable to escape the 5G millimeter TSA style scanner. And don't do anything wrong. Oh, don't carry anything that is suspicious because you will be picked up immediately because artificial intelligence will be able to pick up whatever it is that you have in your bags or that you're carrying on your person and they pick it up in real time, high definition, boom. The law enforcement robots will take you away. That's our world. This is no joke. Hex wave to spy on people in public spaces. Let's listen to this short video. Liberty Defense's Hexwave identifies concealed weapons in real time in high traffic areas like schools and stadiums in both indoor and outdoor settings. This system can also be integrated to fit into walls or behind signs and screens, thus hidden from plain sight. Using active 3D imaging and deep learning algorithms, it detects both metallic and non-metallic weapons in real time through clothing, backpacks, and purses. This provides non-contact, high-throughput detection that can be used both indoors and outdoors as part of a non-intrusive screening layered defense. Active real-time 3D images are turned into actionable intelligence using deep learning algorithms. Weapon types include suicide vests, assault rifles, handguns, and knives. The alert form can be the weapon type and location with the threat image ported out to security teams or command centers to stop the threat before it becomes an attack. Liberty Defense Technologies. Protecting communities and preserving peace of mind through superior security detection solutions. We are Liberty Defense. Okay. So, uh, nowhere in this article did it say anything about 5G millimeter wave, but I knew it was 5G millimeter wave. Uh, this is already rolled out. Now, in this article, it says Utah. Utah. Uh, they're testing it in Utah. It's operating in Canada, in uh, Vancouver, and I'm sure other places. It has been operating here. It, well, when they rolled out the LA airport, the um, Los Angeles International Airport scanners that were not actually in the airport, but around the airport, rolling out the technology to scan people as they're walking by, that was the 5G millimeter wave because it does have high definition surveillance capability. So it is used to spy on the public um, and all of 5G smart cities, this is what you can't escape from in those smart cities. This is what you will be living. You are going to be surveilled 24 seven in your home and when you walk out of your home, you're going to be passing all of these 5G, which are, uh, radar is used for surveillance. Radar operates in the millimeter wave. These are mini radar stations surveilling you. Everywhere you go, walking down the street, into a store, go to an event, and, well, it is in your face, but as they say, it's non-intrusive. You don't have to walk through a scanner. You won't be held up, you know, having to wait for everybody to walk through that scanner because everything will be a scanner. Life will be a scanner everywhere you go. Oh, boy. Don't you wish that we could have stopped this? I do. So I wanted to check out the Hexwave or Liberty Defense, the company, Hexwave. And I didn't see anything on their site that said anything about 5G or the millimeter wave. So I did a search. And what was the, I just put in Hexwave millimeter wave. First result, 
Liberty Defense announces next generation millimeter wave technology, hex wave. So I clicked on it. This site can't be reached. Okay. Liberty Defense took it off their site. Why? Because they didn't want people to know that it was 5G, the millimeter wave. But there are some articles. Security startup aims to give high-tech scanners test run at Rogers Arena. This is Canuck Sports and Entertainment. I believe that this is in Canada. Um, Vancouver, I believe. Hexwave, high security, high tech security scanners will use advanced radar. Hexwave. And people do not understand that since 9 11, the propaganda, the social engineering accelerated. It certainly um, accelerated during the Obama years when that law, the Smith-Munt Act, that said, ah, you cannot use propaganda against American citizens. Well, they overturned it. They repealed it. They said, to hell with that. We are going to use propaganda against the American citizens. We're going to lie to them. We're going to stage events and then lie about them. We're going to cause events to get them terrorized to get them to not trust anybody, to get them to think, oh my God, if I say any, I'm a city, uh, I'm a city employee, um, and I have a gripe with something, um, I might say, wow, I'm really angry at my boss, or you know, whatever. People will, oh my God, 13 dead shooting in Virginia Beach, disgruntled city employee. How about that city employee that in his own home, oh, his stack and pack apartment, um, says that he's really angry at his boss or angry at something taking place? Or how about just being an ordinary citizen in a smart city, living in a smart apartment that Amazon is monitoring everything you do and say? and you're angry at, ooh, town officials. Uh, how about angry at a city employee? Oh my God, are you going to go out and kill people? Of course not. But, well, let's take a look at this. The TAPS Act. Let's listen to just a few minutes of high impact flicks. The TAPS Act would encourage law enforcement to give everyone a personal threat assessment. That's kids and adults and single out those they deem as future threats. Guys, you don't even have to have committed a crime. Law enforcers and their political handlers can declare you a future criminal and arrest you today. Check out the wording from H.R. 838 itself. As mass casualty attacks continue to be a threat to public safety, it is clear that a proactive solution is needed in order to prevent future tragedies. By the time we are reacting, it's too late. By bringing threat assessment experts together and utilizing evidence-based behavior threat assessment and management processes, we can bolster public safety by implementing strategies to identify and stop dangerous individuals before they can commit an act of violence. This is Twilight Zone level insanity and tyranny. This is a minority report in real life. We have the expertise to combat and target violence plaguing our schools, places of worship, and public spaces, but we have yet to fully implement it to prevent attacks. Guys, the TAPS Act has all the earmarks of a paranoid police state that arbitrarily considers everyone as a potential threat. The and you are a potential threat just because you exist. You are a potential threat everyone is a potential threat and so you put all of this together the TAPS Act and Amazon sticking Alexa in your apartment 
and then you have the hex wave operating wherever you are going, walking down the street. Um, you say something that, well, that could indicate that they might become violent. Let's say, and you know, it's human to say um, uh, that you're really angry at somebody or God, I wish, you know, I could just blow them up or kill them or, you know, but you don't because you're just not, you know, you're not going to carry that out, but you're just angry. That's enough for you to get picked up. Real-time surveillance in your home, real-time surveillance, walking down the street, wherever you go, you'll be picked up for an assessment. Hmm, a threat assessment. This is the world that is taking shape and cementing itself. And this is the propaganda used to terrorize American citizens to accept all of this tyranny. They don't think about the implications. They don't think about the loss of privacy. They don't think about the loss of freedom. They only think, okay, just do something so that we don't have to be in fear, so that we can go and walk down the street and not get shot dead. They don't understand that all of this is the social engineering to get them to accept the 24-hour 24, uh, 24 surveillance, to get them to accept the 1984 world. All I have to do is do a little bit of research. But I also want to show you that, yeah, Uber will ban passengers with low ratings. That social credit scoring system is operating here in the United States, just like China. And all of us will feel it as the Chinese are feeling it today. But they roll it out incrementally here. Uber, their app. It's a social credit rating score. And they'll ban passengers if, well, they don't get their behavior right. <clears throat> so on that app, they give tips to boost a user's rating. Like, um, well, encourage. You know, be polite. You'll get a higher rating. Don't leave any trash. Avoid requesting of that driver to drive faster. Get your behavior right. Then you'll get a good score. And then you'll be able to continue using Uber. You get a low score. We'll give you some notifications at first. Well, those warnings. But eventually, if you don't self-correct that behavior, you're banned. This is going to be rolled out everywhere for everything. And yes, the social credit rating score is operating now and it will manifest just like it has manifest in China. Yes, uh, all countries working together, uh, tech giants working with governments and uh, other startups getting these um, uh, surveillance this surveillance technology operating all over. The implications of this are so profound. And how life you know, took a turn and what has manifested already, I know that many of you can identify with how I feel about it. This is not a world I want to be living in. It's not even a world I want to be living in now what has manifested, what is coming to the younger generations. They will not get at all. They won't even be able to uh, just have that concept of freedom or privacy. The opportunities that we had 
the life that we lived decades ago is gone. It's not coming back. And yeah, um, for those who just say, well, I'll be dead and I don't care, even those who say it, they have grandchildren, they have children, and they just don't care. Wow. Well, I don't know how you got to not care, and I don't know what makes the difference, but for those of us who care, this is not a world. We, 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 uh, how we could leave this to the younger generations is just beyond me. So, anyway, I will link below to everything, and yeah, what can I say? Hey, Saturday, have a great day.